Hello everybody and welcome back to The Bourbon Bar. I'm Holden and today I have a very, very exciting video to bring you guys and it is a review of Brothers Bond Original Cask Strength Bourbon. Now, for those of you who aren't aware, Brothers Bond is a bourbon that I hold near and dear to my heart on this channel. In fact, it was one of the first whiskeys that I got when I was first getting into the YouTube game. Now, I've had this Brothers Bond normal 80 proof bourbon for quite a while now and I have loved the crap out of it as you guys saw probably from my whiskey of the year video which I will link up in the corner and some other videos where I've just continually talked about how this is just one of my favorite daily drinkers now that being said the creators of this whiskey decided they wanted to release something that was for the whiskey drinkers of the world and that is Brothers Bond original cast strength bourbon this bourbon is a Cast Strength Bourbon from MGP, and it is the original Cast Strength Uncut Unfiltered, 57.9% alcohol, that's 115.8 proof, and this is bottle number 3016. So, being a four grain, this is a weeded bourbon. Um, it does have some wheat in it because it is a four grain. It's a blend of three different mash bills, allowing it to be that four grain mash bill that we all know and love. This was $80 from Reserve Bar, and uh, honestly, not bad for a nice, high proof, cast strength whiskey. I'm really, really excited to get into it. For those of you who don't know, Brothers Bond was created by two very important people in the world of vampires, and that is Ian Somerhalder and Paul Wesley, two characters from the Vampire Diaries, which was a CW show that ran for about eight seasons. Now, these two worked their way into everyone's hearts in the Vampire Diaries, but they worked our, their way into whiskey lovers' hearts with their Brothers Bond bourbon whiskey. Now that they have released their cast strength, I can't wait to tell you guys how it is because I personally love their mainstay, but that's enough talking. Let's go ahead and uncork this. Now I'm very excited to have this whiskey because honestly I've been waiting for so long to have this and I just like, I've been looking forward to it and I really hope it doesn't let me down. That being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get it on the nose and let you guys know how this tastes. Oh my God. Oh, guys, it is, it is so good. First impressions are, it honestly smells very similar to a really good Larceny Barrel Proof. Um, there are some caramel notes in it, it's very sweet on the nose, some light fruit and some oak presence, which is there. It also has a little bit of like this nuttiness, almost like a pecan or like buttered pecan, maybe, um, walnuts or pecan, some kind of fattier nut in there as well. It definitely has a, a bit of a tobacco on the nose as well. Some darker notes coming in here, which we don't normally get from their original Brothers Bond 80 proof. There's also definitely a little bit of a bready note um, showing itself here that comes through from the wheat of the whiskey. Um, and this is being a four grain, gonna have a little bit of that bready note, which is something that I really enjoyed in the original 80 proof version. That being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get it on the palate for you guys, so stay tuned and I'll let you know how it tastes. Wow. It's so good, I mean literally so good. This honestly has blown my expectations out of the water. I mean, there's honey and oak and some nice deep rye spice in there. It just leaves the warmest Indiana hug going all the way down. It's a very long finish. The mouthfeel of this is viscous and full bodied. It has notes of caramel, maybe a butterscotch, almost like a burnt brown sugar, like toasted burnt brown sugar as well. Oak is there, um, lots of rye spice. I'm gonna go ahead and get it on the palette again and pick out a little bit more notes for you guys. And it's just, it's everything I wanted and more, honestly. All the notes that I said, um, I do get a little bit of like a nice dark fruit, maybe like something like raisins or something along that line. Also has a bit of leather on the back end. Maybe that tobacco is coming more into a leathery tone uh, on the palate here. But that nice long finish definitely warms my chest and my throat. And I love it a lot. That being said, 
Um, this whiskey has just blown me away. Uh, these are two guys that, yeah, they're celebrities, but they certainly love whiskey and they love our planet. Did you know that every bottle of Brothers Bond that you purchase, a portion of the proceeds goes to funding regenerative agriculture, which is something that they personally um, stand by and try to represent with their brand. Another thing that I love about this is the bottle. It is so very sleek and sexy. I love the little fiddly bit on the neck tag here. Very cool. And overall, just like very, very well thought out bottle. Um, everything about it is like really cool. And I'm just honestly fanboying over it because it's just like the bottle's cool. The whiskey's cool. The people who made it are cool. And honestly, amazing whiskey. Could it be whiskey of the year? There is a very, very high possibility. And it will be in the end of the year blind, which will determine whiskey of the year. That being said, this is amazing whiskey and I think it's time that I give you guys a grade. And before we get to the grading portion of this video, I want to invite you guys to please hit the like button and leave a comment whether you guys were a fan of the original Brothers Bond and if you're excited to try the Brothers Bond cast strength because let me tell you, it's something that you should be excited to try. That being said, we're gonna go ahead and grade this whiskey. So my grade for this whiskey being $80 cask strength bourbon whiskey, four grain, I'm honestly gonna give this a 9.4. 9.4, I said it, this whiskey is literally um, some of the best I've had, if not the best. I can't wait to put it in blinds um, against other whiskeys because could it be me fanboying over it, making it better than it is in my own head? It's very possible that it could be. However, I fully think that when I blind this versus Larceny Barrel Proof, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, and even Booker's, that this will definitely be holding its own. I think that this has a very good chance of beating all of those bottles out. And honestly, if you guys haven't picked one up off a reserve bar, you should go do that now because they might sell out and this is a limited edition whiskey. So that being said, 9.4 is a grade. Honestly, so amazing. I'm very excited to have been able to taste this, but that's the end of the video. If you guys liked it, please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and I'll see you all in the next class.